Okay, so if we are proving a quadrilateral is a square, let's go back to this diagram. So what I would have to do is prove that it has the characteristics of a rectangle, and then it has the characteristics, or at least a characteristic, to prove that it's a rhombus. So let's think about how we can do that. So I can prove, to make it a, so I need to prove it's a rectangle. And I need to prove it's a rhombus. So I have to do both somehow. So what makes a rectangle a rectangle? And again, I like to do uh, prove and use my um, diagonals just because there's only two of them. So with a rectangle, what makes using the diagonals, what makes a rectangle a rectangle? Well, I can prove um, that the diagonals are congruent. I could prove that um, we have four right angles. So again, I can use um, the distance formula twice, or I can use the slope formula four times to prove it's a rhombus. I have, um, I could prove that all sides are congruent. So again, I'm using a distance formula four times. I could prove that diagonals are perpendicular. So that's using the slope twice. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I, I, again, I prefer to use a diagonals because I have a lot less work, I think. So I am going to prove that it's a rectangle first by using the distance formula twice. Diagonals are congruent. So I have AC. I have 0 minus 7 squared plus 0 minus a negative 1, which gives me a positive 1 squared. Square root of negative 7 is 49, plus my 1 squared, which is 1. So AC is the square root of 50. So this diagonal is the square root of 50 long. So now I'm going to prove or show that BD, or find out the length of BD. So BD has a length of 3 minus 4 squared plus 4 minus 3 squared. That gives me 3 minus 4, 4 minus 3. Something's wrong. I have 1 squared plus 1 squared gives me square root of 2. Something is definitely wrong. 0 minus 7. 0 plus 1. Okay, let's go back and check our original problem. I'm kind of batting 0 right now. 7 minus 1, 0, 0, 4, 3. 3 and negative. Ah, there's my mistake. 3 and a negative 4. Let's try this again. Okay, so that should have been a 3 and a negative 4, which is going to change this. So 3 minus 4, that's not going to change. Negative 3 minus 3 gives me a negative 7 squared. Gives me 1 plus my 49. There we go. So BD should be the square root of 50. Okay. So I know that diagonals are congruent. So remember, that does not prove that it's a square. It just proves that it's a rectangle. So therefore, it's a rectangle. So we know it's a rectangle for sure. Now I have to prove that it's a rhombus. Um, I am going to go ahead and show that my diagonals are perpendicular. So AC, so I'm using the slope formula. So 0 minus negative 1. 
over 0 minus 7 gives me 1 over negative 7 gives me negative 1 sevenths. I do like to put the negative in the numerator. So now for BD, finding the slope of that, I have negative 4 minus 3 over 3 minus 4 gives me a negative 7 over a negative oopsie, 1 gives me a positive 7. So if I have a negative 1 7 and a positive 7, that means that these are reciprocals. So these are opposite reciprocals, which means the diagonals are perpendicular. Therefore, it's a rhombus. So I've proven that this figure is a rectangle, and I've proven that's a rhombus, so now I can state this quadrilateral is a square because it is both a rectangle and a rhombus. So keep in mind there are other ways of doing this. I could have shown um, the fact that we had four right angles. So I could have used my slope formula four times to prove that it's a rectangle. I could have found the distance four times using um, with for the sides. So that would prove it's a rhombus. So again, I'd be back in the same boat. I've proven, proven it's a rectangle. I've proven it's a rhombus. Therefore, it has to be a square.